Tonight, a mess. That's what one Democratic member of Congress is calling President Trump's attempt to arrange a bipartisan meeting on the shutdown today. That meeting part of Trump's strategy, which is to go after uh, new members of the Democratic Party, vulnerable ones, and pick them off. But today it didn't work. Not one single Democrat showed up. Caitlin Collins is out front from the White House tonight. And Caitlin, OK, that was today's plan. What's the president going to do now? That's pretty much the question on everyone's mind in Washington right now. What is the strategy going to be going forward? Now, Aaron, we know we can expect more meetings with lawmakers between the White House, whether or not that includes Democrats. Democrats who are actually going to play a big role in ending the shutdown is still a big question. And right now, essentially, the two people this is all going to come down to is President Trump and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. And right now, neither of them have a meeting scheduled together. And it doesn't mm. seem that either of them had shown any signs of coming off of what their demands are. Now, the White House strategy today by inviting those Democratic lawmakers to the White House for lunch was to essentially drive a wedge between the party's members and the party's leaders to say, say hey, we've got people that are on our side. They want uh, to reopen the, the government and they agree with us about our plans for border security. But clearly they sent a pretty symbolic rejection by turning down that offer and not a single member showing up. Now, the question is, what are they going to do going forward? And right now, even inside the White House, the strategy here is not clear. But what is clear is there's not an end in shutdown or an end to this shutdown in sight right now, though officials are becoming increasingly worried, Aaron, about the optics of all of this. And they're paying attention to those polls, like the one from CNN, that shows more Americans are holding the president responsible for this shutdown, despite his attempts to pin the, pin the blame on Democrats, than they are holding Democrats responsible. And that's something that's becoming an increasing concern for these White House officials. All right, Caitlin, thank you. And let's go now to freshman Democrats. Democrat Representative Mikey Sherrill. She's from New Jersey, and I appreciate your time. Look, it's day 25 now, uh, Congressman. We're hearing McKay Coppins, a writer for The Atlantic, just tweeted out. I don't know if you saw this, but I wanted to read it to you. I was struck mm -hmm. talking to people on Capitol Hill today by the general feeling that the shutdown won't end until some outside disaster occurs. Um, what's your reaction to that? Do you agree that it's going to take something disastrous to end this shutdown, Congresswoman? Well, Erin, I certainly hope not. Um, that doesn't seem to be what I'm feeling down here. I'll tell you, we have been working um, very hard to get the government open again. In fact, my freshman colleagues and I were sent down here to get government working. If the American people have any doubt that it's working well, then I'll let you know that we were the first class in the history of the United States to be sworn in during a government shutdown. So here's a report from the field. Government is not working. I mean, you know, what to do about it, though? I mean, should your Democrat colleagues, the ones you know, the president called, said, hey, come on over. Should they have gone to the White House today to meet with him at least? Well, like I said, uh, my freshman colleagues and I really want to work hard uh, to get government open and to then start working on the business of the American people. So I think uh, we should get government open. We should do that first. And then we'd be happy to talk to the president about issues that concern all of us, like border security. So it's, I mean, you know, you're still on the side of open the government first, then we'll talk, and he's give me my wall, and then I'll open the government. I mean, right, there's been no movement, it doesn't seem. And, but he is saying, Congresswoman, that some Democrats are starting to side with him, particularly people like you. Here's what he said to Sean Hannity. If you look, Democrats in Congress, especially the new ones coming in, are starting to say, wait a minute, we can't win this battle with Trump because of the fact that it's just common sense. How can we say that a wall doesn't work? You're a new Democrat. I mean, do you accept you can't, quote, win this battle with Trump? I think the new Democrats are first and foremost on the side of the American people. And the American people want us to get government open. And so the very first bill that we passed was a bill to open government right. up in the House of Representatives. We've uh, broken that bill up to try to get it passed. And then just yesterday, we passed a bill so that we could open government up for three weeks in order to start to negotiate border security. Right. But again, I mean, you know, this comes down to you're saying open the government, then we'll talk. And he's saying, give me my wall and then we'll open the government. And there we are. We're still on, on two polar opposite uh, spaces. I mean, he says he does not care what you call it. Right. That's his move is like, OK, I don't care what you call it. Just give me some kind of barrier. Here's how he put it, Congresswoman. This is where I ask the Democrats to come back to Washington and to vote for money for the wall, the barrier. Whatever you want to call it, it's okay with me. They can name it whatever they can name it. Peaches. I don't care what they name it. But we need money for that barrier. Okay. So what do you say? So the president has money for border security. Uh, he has a billion dollars, over a billion dollars he's not spent. In these bills we've passed, we've just... Uh, 
sent him another 1.6 or offered to send him another 1.6 billion dollars for border security. I think what might Can be getting a little a bit lost in this. I, I think what might be getting a little lost in this, though, is the Senate's responsibility. So um, we have a responsibility in Congress to get government open. We have sent now several bills to the Senate, and the Republican Senate has not taken them up, despite the fact that we sent we passed the very same bill that they passed a couple weeks ago. So the Senate has a responsibility as a co-equal branch of government to get this government open. Would you give him some kind of a barrier, though? I mean, just, you know, fence, whatever, but a barrier somewhere. Is that on your table? You know, like I said, I'm for strong border security. So once we get this, this, uh, the government open, once we pass the bills and get people back to work and get them their paychecks, make sure TSA workers are being paid, then we can talk about the best way forward on border security. And if that's a wall, then I'm open to that. Um, I do think that when we look at the needs of, of the border, it's uh, more CBP or border control agents, uh, making sure we have drones, making sure we have advanced technologies to stop incursions of drug right. trafficking. So these are some things I talk about, but if a wall is the right uh, thing to use as it is in El Paso and San Diego, then we can talk about that as well. You talk about paychecks. Uh, the, you have opted not to receive yours during the, the shutdown. The president uh, tweeted today, why is Nancy Pelosi getting paid when people who are working are not? Should the speaker be refusing her pay as well? Is he right about that? You know, I, I think people in charge of this should be refusing their pay. I think whether they're in Congress or they're in the executive branch, it is our responsibility and our duty to have government open. Um, that is why we are sent to Washington. And so um, I felt very strongly about this because I've certainly worked in federal government for many years and seen firsthand what a government shutdown can do to federal workers. All right. Thank you very much. Clear thank statement. You. Thank you, Congresswoman.